Welcome to Mrs. Jager's Book Nook. Today we get to read a very silly story called Dragons Eat Noodles on Tuesdays. And this one actually wants me. Hi, welcome to Mrs. Jager's Book Nook. That's me, Mrs. Jager. And today we are going to read a very silly story called Dragons Eat Noodles on Tuesdays. And this story actually helps me be a better writer. Hmm. I wonder how we're going to do that. Let's read the book and find out. Are you ready? Oh, hi, everybody. Want to hear a story? Great. Once upon a time. The end. The end? Did he even tell us a story? He didn't. So when he does this and he doesn't give in us enough details, I want you to say, tell me more. Just like that. Practice. Ready? Tell me more. Okay. Let's read on and see if he gives us more. What? Not enough of a story for you? Fine. Let's try this. So there's this kid. And he gets eaten by a dragon. The end. What are we going to say? Tell me more. Need more details. What? You still don't like it? Sheesh, Rooney. <clears throat> Maybe I can help you. You? How can you help me? Look, no one wants a story about dragons eating people. Fine, Mr. Smart Guy. Do you have a better idea? Maybe the dragon doesn't eat the kid. Maybe they are friends and go on cool adventures. There, that's nice. Nice? Nice is boring. No, the dragon definitely needs to eat someone. How about a story without dragons? Like what? Like this. Boy finds toy. Boy loses toy. Toy meets girl. Girl loves toy. Toy is happy. Boy gets new toy. I don't know. That story really needs a hungry dragon. Dragon stories usually don't end well. But if you insist, I insist. Okay, but be careful what you wish for. Once upon a time, a cowardly knight came upon a hungry dragon. B -b 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 please don't eat me. Sorry, pal. I skipped breakfast. The dragon opened his jaws wide to eat the knight when suddenly... <gasps> a brave damsel burst from the shadows. You brute! Please call me Dennis. Put me down! I don't care what they call you. You put that knight down now. Come on, I'm starving! But the damsel was not only brave, she was also very smart. Look, Dennis, everybody knows dragons only eat noodles on Tuesday. Here's the menu. Monday, they can eat knights. Tuesdays, eat noodles only. Wednesdays, they can eat monsters. Thursdays, they can eat villagers. Friday is the king buffet. Saturday is damsel dinner. And Sunday is a salad. And today is Tuesday. You're right! Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Because remember, on Tuesday, they can only eat noodles. Hence the title. <laughs> Damsel's Roll. I'm out of here. The end. Does he look impressed? That story is ridiculous. Noodles? Come on. I think it's fantastic. You wanted a dragon story. Hey. What's that? What is that? <gasps> oh no, it looks like Dennis from the story. Dennis looks hungry. He is. <gasps> Don't worry, it's Tuesday. We'll be fine. Uh, today is Wednesday. It is? Yup. Do you remember what he eats on Wednesday? Monsters. And those guys are monsters. Ha! 
<laughs> How about that? Go. Burp. And it smells like day old noodles in here. Ugh, be quiet. Wait, here's a story for you. There were two guys who escaped from the belly of a dragon. Hmm, I like it. I hope you enjoyed that silly story with me. It taught me two things. One, you can use a partner to help you add details to your story. And two, your stories need lots and lots of details because without lots and lots of details, your stories are not as interesting. And remember, anything can happen in a book. And when you're writing a story, you're the author of your very own book. So anything can happen. All right, guys, I'll see you back here next time on Mrs. Jacob's Book Nook.